Hello, everybody. Hi. How are you? Perhaps you thought I had retired, but I'm back. I'm here again with another video. Another video in Emacs. And this is actually Emacs in my in my MacBook. I've actually got Emacs working uh, the same as it does in Linux in my MacBook. But that's not what we're talking about today. It, we're in Emacs, but we're not really talking about Emacs. We're talking about something outside of Emacs because it's uh, it's good to step outside of the text editor once in a while and uh, do things uh, sometimes the analog way. I'm talking about something called morning pages. Yes, uh, actual pages. Some of you may have heard about this. It's it's kind of a uh, it's kind of a popular uh, concept. It's from a popular book called The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron. Uh, a lot of people um, have read this book, recommend it. It's uh, I'm, I'm reading it now. And I, I'm talking about Morning Pages because I've actually, though I had not read the book until now, I've been doing Morning Pages for years. And it was because of someone who was reading The Artist's Way that told me about it. And as soon as I heard it, I said, yes, that sounds great. I'm going to do that. And uh, because uh, for years... Well, we'll get into this a little bit, but first, you know, we'll talk about what the morning pages are. So basically, as you see here, three pages in the morning. That's what it is. Three pages in the morning. Uh, you can pull out three pieces of paper, write on them, throw them in the garbage or file them away. You just write three pages and it's of anything. You're not meant to go back and look at them again or... Uh, you know, review them or do something special with them. Pardon. Okay. So you're, you're, uh, do anything with them. You, you don't even really have to, um, you know, write in a special, in a special way. You don't even really have to be coherent. You can just kind of write blah, blah, blah. I don't know what to write. Uh, you know, work is good or, you know, I'm doing this new thing. Um, that's why it's kind of like a, a what some people call a brain drain. It just, uh, whatever comes to your mind, you know, you just jot it down. And because you don't have the pressure of going back and look at it, looking at it and uh, maybe judging yourself, you really just get it down on paper. And, um, and that sort of uh, relieves a bit of a pressure, I think, because some people think, well, I'm going to start this journal. I've got this notebook. Um, this was like the situation that I had where, uh, you know, I've, I've, in, in writing, copywriting, content writing for many years. And anybody who does any kind of writing, you know, you should keep some kind of journal. And every time I would sit down to start one, I'd immediately think, oh, I don't know what to write. Well, what kind of journal is this? Is this a writing journal? Is this just a life journal? Is it just a log of activities, of thoughts, of blah, blah, blah. And then you just, you start to think so much, you, you don't even bother to do it. And then you don't have anything. So I, I've, I started doing the morning pages and at almost uh, instantly, uh, well, not instantly, but once you've done it consistently, uh, many mornings, many days, maybe weeks or months, it, it'll vary, I think, depending on, on what you're doing. But um, I, I noticed that I had definitely uh, more clarity of thought in general, but specifically with writing. I feel like it loosened me up a little bit so that when I wanted to actually sit down and write something, I could do it more clearly. I could take some time. I could I could basically organize my thoughts better. And of course, that actually meant I could write better journal entries. So when I actually decided uh, separately to have, whether it was a writing journal or an activity log or something for work, um, I was I was able to actually write actual journal entries more frequently. So the morning pages, which are specifically not really any kind of journal, just sort of a brain drain, actually just got me thinking clearer in general um, to... Um, to actually do better writing across all spectrum. And what I do, the kind of content writing that I do is, is not the most creative kind. Um, it's like mostly for, for marketing purposes, but um, the opportunities that I that do present themselves once in a while to, to do creative writing actually are much more uh, enjoyable. And I think the, the output that I have is, is better than it was before. So I definitely advocate for the, the morning pages. I think it's a great thing to try. Just try it. See if, if you like it or if it works for you or if you want to read that book, The Artist's Way. It um, comes recommended by many people and I'm enjoying it. Um, and uh, I will, I'll go out on a limb and say like what you're watching right here. I've, I've, I've been able to talk for five minutes 
and only stumble over my words minimally, I think, uh, without really having any kind of script prepared or anything like that. Um, believe it or not, that that's just not, you know, something I, I was a- able to do all the time. I think that's also a result of, of doing the morning pages as well. As I said, like it can kind of clear a lot of junk out of your head so you can actually speak and write more clearly, I think. So it, uh, as this comes recommended and, uh, I'll go ahead and close the video there. Nice checking back in with you. Feels good doing another video. And uh, I have some more likely to come very soon. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.